I was fascinated by the idea that one guy in Moscow could say, I can change the world. Mm -hmm. And three months later, two presidents, the French, François Mitterrand, and Ronald Reagan has to meet each other, have to meet each other because of him. We know a lot of things about the Royal Affair, but not everything. And I love the idea that a secret affair can keep his secrets. No Russian actor except to make the movie, to be a traitor. And uh, even shooting in Moscow was not allowed. So six weeks be be before starting the movie, no main actor, main character, and no city. I really thought the movie was dead. But I came back and I proposed to the producer to work with an actor coming from an ex-East country, able to speak Russian, but not Russian. That's how the idea of Amy arrived. And I was very enthusiastic by this idea because Emir, as a director, of course, everybody knows, but as a man, you know, he's... I, I just think the story itself is such a powerful, a powerful piece and statement of that particular time mm. and very important kind of story to tell, yeah. particularly the human story. Yeah. And um, those are the kinds of things you want to be involved with. We will never have any release in, uh, in Russia. Never. Can I work in Russia? Of course, my role is very simple. I played just woman in love. Nothing really dangerous. <laughs> you know, the popularity of Ronald Reagan was uh, was so extraordinary during that period. Um, you know, you didn't look through the cracks. You, you didn't. You, you just saw the the facade. So I start to think about this option, this uh, you know version, my version. I mean. The CIA tried to protect the other moles by giving a name, which is very common, to sacrifice one guy to protect the others. That's what I think, but I can't prove it. Uh, please thank Dina and David and Christian. Thank you very much.